Hello and welcome to James Heller on YouTube. Today I've decided to make the video for the Chariot card in reverse, which is number 7 of the Major Arcana. Now before we begin discussing it in the reverse position, I just want to talk about it very briefly in an upright position, just so that we can distinguish the difference. In an upright position, um, most of the time this can signify being in a positive position, being very determined, very focused, very confident, and imposing one's will on the goals or plans you have at this time. Having a very clear focus, feeling optimistic, having an unshakable sort of desire and faith to follow a particular path. And it shows that you have the confidence, willpower and drive to take yourself in that direction. It also can predict that there will be some sort of success or triumph within what you're trying to put together because you are so determined and so motivated to, to, to do this this particular action it also can signify movement and travel as well um, and in an overall sense it's about progressing forward taking steps forward um, being able to take control of the reins of your life so to speak as the as the as a charioteer controls the chariot and takes it in the direction that he wants to so it's a card very much of tunnel vision and being able to navigate through the challenges of life um, and keeping everything on track and in a direction that you know you want to go and you know where you're going basically when it's in an upright position but when we turn it up the other way this card can talk about finding yourself in a position where you don't really know where you're going in a particular situation you don't really have the direction you need it can show a lack of confidence a lack of vision a lack of drive a lack of ambition and lack of motivation and most importantly, it can show a lack of control, not having the control to navigate through the day to day challenges of life. Instead, being kind of pushed and pulled between things and allowing yourself to be thrown off course and allowing other people or other situations to dictate the direction that you want to take. It shows that you probably don't have the willpower uh, in, the, in the reverse position to, to, to kind of take the, the actions that you want to take and the likelihood of you being successful is unlikely because there isn't that focus, that determination, that belief, or even that confidence that things can uh, move in that way. On a mundane sense, it can mean that, that any travel or movement is likely to be uh, subject to, to delay or setbacks, um, and that the course you've chosen, you haven't really got a course for yourself in any case for where you want to go. So it's kind of a very negative card, but it does show you where perhaps you may be going wrong within a situation that you may have to rethink um, your your motive your um, what's the word I'm looking for rethink the sort of well rethink your plans and goals really so that you can become more familiar and more confident about what it is you're trying to do. It's about trying to put yourself in a confident position, and if it's in a reverse position, obviously there's a real need to have a plan, a vision but also to have the belief and motivation to execute it and to take yourself forward. Um, there is the hope of turning things around because there always is in life. So if you do get this card in a reverse position, it doesn't generally tend to um, point towards long-term failure because, as I say, life can be turned around. You can rethink things and get more confident with a plan that you're more happy with, and then you can put, your, put the perseverance and motivation, determination that's needed to take your vision to where it needs to go and of course ultimately get more in control of your life because obviously with the reverse position you're not going to be as in control as you would like to so that is the chariot in reverse as I say again with all these reverse uh, meaning card readings that I'm doing here to show you there are alternatives and things that you can add to it of course it depends again on where it comes in a spread and what the question is so you have to use your intuition to adapt it to, 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 to what's been asked about. Of course, these, these uh, meanings I'm giving you here are not the only meanings. And if you dig a lot deeper, you may find some additional ones. But this is a great start point for this card. And very quickly, your intuition will better guide you to develop your own meaning for the card, which is ultimately what we all have to do when we learn the tarot. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this reading, um, this explanation of the chariot in reverse. As always, I encourage you, if you like the video, please like it um, and give us um, 
drop a comment below if you feel that it's been helpful to you. And um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, if you're enjoying the videos. Thank you very much. Until next time, bye-bye.